2020. And yeah, you are a high tech company specializing in efficient um, electrolyzers, and according to the title, the most efficient PEM electrolyzer. So tell me a little bit more about what you're doing. So, our starting point was that we wanted to develop a new technology, a new PEM electrolyzer that would significantly reduce the cost of green hydrogen. And this was a uh, and the R&D and development work that was carried out at uh, SINTEF in Norway, the uh, main research institute of, of Norway. So two of my uh, co-founders and also leading scientists in the world of uh, PEM, uh, Magnus and Alejandro, they were working on a new, uh, it's a revolutionary design for a more efficient PEM electrolyzer. So that was the, um, the starting point uh, of the company. Uh, but then we also set up this company to, to make a big impact in the uh, energy transition and to take this technology to market and to commercialize it. So we have to develop the technology on the one hand, but we also need to develop the business, uh, which very much everyone has to do. Uh, not completely from scratch, but I think in general our industry is in the very early stages of, uh, of development. That sounds great. So, yeah, you basically took on the mission to make green hydrogen affordable because efficiency is key. Yes. Definitely. Um, so, what is the secret behind it? How can you be the most efficient or, yeah, maybe you can also share some numbers, yes. if possible? Well, you know, to start when you talk about electrolyzer or green hydrogen in this case, you're, of course, taking water and electric power and, and splitting my H2, H2O and uh, producing hydrogen and you get some oxygen as well. And uh, as we correctly pointed out, the key is really to, to be able to reduce the cost of green hydrogen, you know, not only to be competitive, but to ensure that green hydrogen will have a uh, significant place and significant impact on the energy transition. So, so what we have done, there are a lot of developments going on to reduce cost as well, of, uh, you know, the capex cost of producing an electrolyzer. But we have patented a new operating principle okay. that uh, allows us to use a much uh, thinner membrane. So there's nothing unique about the membrane as such. We're use, utilizing mass-produced fuel cell membranes. But the thickness of the membranes we use is about one-tenth of the thickness of a conventional uh, PEM electrolyzer membrane, and uh, it's, um, it's important to note that the majority of the losses in an electrolyzer originate from the membrane and the ohmic resistance across that membrane. So the thinner the membrane, the lower the losses and the higher the efficiency. So our system is, um, uh, we have, uh, you can come to our stand and learn more about it, and our chief product officer will have a presentation at 4 o'clock today as well. Uh, but we yeah, basically have an air ventilation system on the outside, side, which enables us to uh, dilute the hydrogen concentration on the oxygen side, because with the thin membrane, they have the challenge of hydrogen crossing over from the cathode to the anode. Uh, but I will save uh, technical details for my colleagues later on, but it's, uh, it's a very novel and new um, operating principle for a PEM electrolyzer, which allows us to use a thin membrane, which is also mass produced. So there are some cost advantages to uh, alongside this increased efficiency and also some safety benefits because uh, we have this uh, air ventilation integrated in the electrolyzer, which uh, provides an additional safety feature, which we see that a lot of our customers uh, value. Wow, so you really convinced me. <laughs> um, so that was the technical side, but how do you bring your breakthrough technology to the market? Do you have a particular product or several product lines and um, how does it look like, your business case and what's your typical client? So I would say that you know that's really unique aspect of high story is our stack technology and our, our performance and we are uh, mass for setting up a gigawatt scale, fully optimized uh, assembly line of our, uh, our stack. Uh, so if we talk about the stack first, it's a standard stack platform, regardless of, uh, of the project size. So whether it's a, 
you know, one to five megawatt project or a hundred megawatt project, it's the same stack. So each stack is rated at around 750 kilowatts. Okay. And that size has been uh, defined, uh, if you like, and the dimensions of our stack to be uh, very well suited for mass manufacturing. So both the components of the stack as well as the assembly process has been specifically designed for large volume manufacture. So, so first of all, they have the standard stack and that's a building block for any, any project. Okay, so does that make your product uh, scalable and modular? Yes, right? that's right. So we have uh, this uh, standard building block, which is the, the stack. And uh, of course, to bring something to a customer, you need to have balance of plant and, and systems around it. So we have a sort of medium sized um, uh, projects which we define between 5 to 50 megawatts approx approximately. These are based on 40 foot container solutions. So we have multiple stacks inside one container and uh, we can get up to about 6 megawatts in one container and we will multiply um, multiple containers if you like to, to be able to cover larger projects. But for the really large scale stuff, typically above 100 megawatts, we are operating with a uh, module, something we call the Orion module. And on our stand, we have a uh, virtual reality tour of, uh, of such a large scale plant. So that's basically a module where you will link uh, four stacks in, into a module, which is very, so a three megawatt module basically that you can very easily scale up and that will typically be part of a large scale EPC project.